Hey guys, Irene here. Today I have a Photoshop tutorial on how to enhance freckles in your portraits and I'm going to show you how I went from this to this. So here's my unedited image and I'm gonna start with working on the skin. I always do this step first because you want to make sure that you have a nice and clean canvas before you start adding any of the filters and color toning. I will speed this part up, but if you guys would like to see a full detailed tutorial on how I edit skin, I will link it in the description down below. It's one of my favorite tutorials that I've made and one of my most popular ones, so I highly recommend you guys check it out. Alright, so the first technique I'm going to show you guys is my personal favorite. I haven't seen anyone else use this to enhance the freckles and we're going to be using Camera Raw Filter for this. So before I start, I always duplicate my background layer and then I'm going to go into Filter and Camera Raw Filter. So here we're going to be working in Color Mixer and we're going to go to the Luminance tab. Now because freckles are mostly orange, red, and yellow. These are the colors that we're going to be affecting. So I'm going to start with the oranges. I'm going to bring them down quite a bit. So as you can see, that makes the freckles darker and makes them stand out. And I'm going to do the same to the reds. Maybe not as much as orange because that affects a little bit too much of the skin. So just a little bit. And now the yellows don't really affect anything for me in this picture, but it depends. So always try out the yellows as well. Now I'm going to go back to the basic and I'm going to give it just a little bit of clarity and texture as well, just to kind of contrast the image and also do a little bit of contrast, uh, maybe just a little bit of exposure for this one. Yeah, that looks great. And I also am going to bring up the whites. So again, that's going to just make the image a little bit more contrasting. All right, so I think that looks good. So I'm going to press OK. Oh, also, if you do want to make this into a preset, you can. You can just press right here, then do Save Settings, Save, and then name your preset whatever you want it to be. And then you can use it on other images as well. I already made a bunch of freckle presets, as you can see over here. So I have tons of them. I'm not going to save this one. And I'm going to press OK. So make sure that this background layer is at the bottom of whatever other skin adjustments you've done. So as you can see, here is my dodge and burn layer and here's the uh, skin correcting one. So with this at the bottom, it looks really, really good. Now, if you do not want to apply this to the whole image and you only want to apply it to the skin, you can do that as well. All you have to do is create a layer mask by clicking this button right here. And then we're going to press Control i to invert the mask. As you can see, the picture went back to its normal state. And now we can pick up the white color and with the brush, you can paint it on the skin in the spots that you want. So you can avoid the rest of the image and only paint it onto the skin. If you made a mistake, don't worry, just flip it to the black and you can delete it just like that. And then again, you can flip it to the white to paint it back on. Another cool thing you can do, let's say that you want the freckles to be very, very strong on the face, but maybe you don't like it as strong on her body. So now you can lower the opacity to maybe something like 30% and paint that onto her body. And then, yeah, if you feel like that's not enough, you can increase the opacity, paint it on again, and it's going to add more freckles. And now another quick little thing, if you feel like just the whole thing is too much, you can also play around with opacity right here for the whole layer. So you can make it more or less all right, so that was the camera raw filter. Let me show you some other ways to enhance the freckles. I'm going to make this layer invisible so it's not in our way. So the other ones are going to be using adjustment layers, and those are probably the most popular ways that I've seen everyone else use. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the black and white filter. Now for these ones, make sure that they are at the very top of all of your other layers. You don't want to have it underneath your dodge and burn or any other adjustments that you've done to the skin. So as you can see, it's black and white right now, but don't worry. All you have to do is just change the blending mode to luminosity. 
That way you're only adjusting the darkness and the brightness of the colors that we're going to be working with here. So on the reds, we're just going to bring it down quite a bit. As you can see, that darkens the freckles, makes them look really nice and makes them stand out. And again, we can kind of play around with the yellows here. Yeah, just bring them just a little bit. All right, so this filter is really nice, but it's affecting a lot of the other parts of the image, which I don't like. So again, we can just paint this onto the areas of the skin that we want. So we're just going to press Control I to invert the layer. And same thing, we're going to take our brush with the white and just paint it on the skin that we like. So there we go can go ahead and paint that. Okay, let me just finish painting the whole thing. Again, if you made a mistake, you can go ahead and delete it. So this filter actually works really, really well on most images, but I don't think it's working that well for my particular picture. But I mean, it depends. I guess it's uh, different preferences and some people might prefer this uh, over the camera raw filter. But yeah, it looks pretty good. And then again, you can just decrease the opacity here as well if you feel like it's too much. I think it's, yeah, I think I'm going to leave it at that. So here is the black and white filter with the luminosity. And then let me show you a few other ones. So again, we're going to be using adjustment layers. And for this one, we're going to use channel mixer. Now, same kind of thing. We're going to switch our uh, adjustment layer to luminosity. And for this guy, we're going to actually leave the reds lower, maybe to like some like minus 20. Now for the green, we can just leave it at a zero. And then what's going to really change it is the blue filter. So if you bring it up, it just kind of equalizes all of the other colors, but makes the freckles stand out really, really nicely. Okay, so I'm going to leave it at that. It's kind of a similar effect to the black and white filter, but slightly different. So again, depending on your image, depending on what colors you originally have in your image, different techniques might work for you. So I definitely recommend trying out different ones. But here, same exact thing. We can go ahead and invert the filter with Control I, then pick up our brush with the white color and start painting it on whatever spots you like. And just like I did before, you can lower the opacity or make it brighter just to make sure that you're putting full force of freckles or not. Yeah. You get the gist. So here is the channel mixer. For enhancing the freckles and let me show you one more so we're gonna do this with hue saturation and same thing we're gonna switch this to luminosity and I'm gonna choose the reds here and we're just gonna make them darker here with the lightness we can also go ahead and check the yellows yeah that's not really doing much so we're gonna leave that alone and yeah, so this is the hue saturation with just the red. And let me quickly paint this only on the skin. All right, so this is with the hue saturation. So let me quickly compare these. So this is with the camera raw filter. Again, this is my favorite one. I just think it actually just freckles so, so nicely without affecting the rest of the image. All right, now this is with the black and white. Also a really, really good one. It's definitely my top two, I would say. Okay, this is with the channel mixer. Really nice, very, very similar to black and white. And this is with the hue saturation. I would say that the adjustment layers do a very, very similar job. So it's just up to you, whatever you like to use. And then if you want to try something else, definitely try out the camera raw filter. Okay, I want to show you guys just one last thing of what you can do to really make these freckles pop even more. And it is using selective color. 
I'm going to use the camera raw one to show how this works. I'm going to use the adjustment layers here with selective color. And I'm going to go to whites. Now, if you really take a look at the freckles, there's a lot of white color surrounding the freckles. And if we make that brighter, that's going to make the contrast between the freckles and the skin even greater. And then it's going to make the freckles look even darker and make them stand out more. So I'm going to bring the whites up. Look at that. Do you see that? Oh, to be honest, I do this almost on any picture, even if the girl doesn't have freckles, because I just love the way it makes uh, the highlights stand out, but it especially makes the freckles pop even more. So there it is, and I like to give the skin a little bit of a yellow tint here, and now with the reds, we can make them a little bit darker. So yeah, and then with yellows, we can do the same, just kind of make them a little bit darker. So there it is. This is the selective color and you see how that makes the freckles pop even more. I absolutely love doing this. So this is it on all of the ways that I know of how you can enhance freckles. If you guys know of any other techniques, please share. Let us know in the comments down below. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to my channel to not miss any of my other new videos. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.